Hello everyone, welcome in 11 CHE. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so you have comments me many times in the Instagram that sir, we want to learn Excel and please tell me the softwares which we could learn in our undergraduate course or which we can learn for the industrial purpose. So one of the most useful and used software in industry is a Microsoft Excel. Why? Why as a chemical engineer you should learn about the Microsoft Excel I'll tell you in this video and this will be the basic video for you and the basic preliminary video for you that why you should learn about the Excel. As I told you that the Excel is a most used software in the industry to compile the data, to save the data. Okay, suppose if in your industry you have to compile some data, you have to store some data. So Excel is used. Like if, if you are a chemical engineering student and when you will join the company, so you will definitely see that in your organization also, they will use excel in a wide range of application got it suppose if you have to store if you have to enter the data about the raw materials about the products if you purchase something and you have to enter and you have to store that data so where you will store that data you can use microsoft excel right so there are wide application of excel in the industry and these are some of them which i told you and also like from suppose if you have to you have to show the some charts you have to show some graphs so you can use excel you can use excel for wide application and with respect to chemical engineering with respect to a basic engineering we will proceed in the excel and we will see the basic functions of the excel which you should definitely know okay so as this is a Microsoft Excel is a part of the office okay Microsoft office and this is one software which we use in our industry and so I have this Microsoft Excel so I'll just here I'll just give you the basic introduction about the Excel here you can see that my cursor so these are the ribbons okay these these are called the ribbons okay and suppose if you have to do some new project or new if you have to do some new project so you will you will click on new or if you want to open some previous file so you can simply open from here got it so here i'll click on new because i want to do some new calculations or some new work so in the blank workbook so here you can see that this is my new workbook here you can see that book 2 got it now what is this here you can see that my cursor so these are called as the cell this is a cell and here you can see that in this this is a name box where you will see in which row and in which column i am okay if suppose i click here so you can see that f4 means this is the f column right and fourth row got it these are the columns these are the columns and these are the row got it my point this is a formula box where if suppose i am here suppose i am here and i want to add something like i write down here 20 but if suppose i want to make here a calculation so with the help of this formula box i could do that how see here first equal to then i write here 20 plus 10 then it becomes 30 right and if suppose i write here the 30 now see here this is my normal 30 okay here in the formula box you will see here 30 but if i'll click in this 30 so you will see here is equal to 20 plus 10 okay if you want to make any calculation so you will have to write down 20 definitely if you will remove that 20 so it will simply become 20 plus 10 got it my point so it is preliminary for the excel okay now as i as i was telling you about these are the ribbons here you can see that these are the ribbons and in these ribbons these are the groups okay there are different different groups like clipboard font in the font you can select out the different different fonts you can if you want to make your particular like suppose here you want to make it bold so you can simply make it bold italic underline so these are the ribbons and under the ribbons there are the different different groups and in each group 
the every group has different application like font alignment number style cells editing and same here in insert then page layout formulas data review view etc got it my point now these are the normal things right now as i was telling you here you can see that this is my what is this this is my column right a b c now see here how many columns in the excel do you know that if no then no problem just press control plus right arrow so here you can see that x f d this is my last column okay this is my last column and the second last column is x f c got it my point and now press control and left arrow so here is my first column okay the total number of columns in the excel is 16384 okay because if suppose in your company you have to deal with the large data so it will help you sometimes it will not enough for you sometimes these the, these like there are thousands there are 16384 columns but still it will not be enough for you in some cases because if you have to deal with the large data now how many number of rows in the excel so just click control and down arrow so here 10 lakh 48576 rows in the excel okay if you have to deal with the large data you can use these rows and column okay these these are just the basic information which i am telling you okay and like here this is the font this is alignment we will discuss about it when we will proceed ahead right now i am just telling you the basic things which you should know got it my point what i want to say so as like this is the i i told you about it so as a chemical engineer you should learn about it okay as a chemical engineer you should this is a must learn software for you okay got it my point this is a must learn software for you you can do here the data entry you can do here some like if you have to make some sop you have to you have to make some like work permit you have to make some analysis if you have to do some analysis so there are many number of applications which you could do here you can you can also do here the algebraic equation algebraic like algebraic problems if you want to solve the algebraic problems so you can also do here so there are many applications of the chemical engineer by which you can use it okay and also as a like if you are learning any other software suppose spin hysis autocad matlab so it will help you because it work as a back end got it my point so that's why also it is one of the most useful software as a chemical engineer for you or if you are whether chemical engineer mechanical engineer electrical engineer any branch of discipline you are going to study you should know about the excel okay that's all for this video and in the next video we will simply discuss about the excel we will discuss the basic about the excel so thank you for watching see you soon